it's amazing that the acoustics are very odd here. Sometimes when you're right under the bridge, you don't hear it much at all, or the, under the interstate. Um, but we're going to talk about this bridge. Uh, you will notice several bridges, uh, and, and we'll talk about each one as we pass them. Uh, until this bridge was built in 1929, if you wanted to go over to Jeffersonville, Indiana, you rode a ferry boat. And the ferry boats operated for 122 years at this spot. And so this bridge was really dictated by the fact that now people had vehicles and people had their private automobiles and trucks and it was no longer practical to ride the, the ferry, although it was every 20 minutes. Uh, and so in, in 1928, the agitation started to build a vehicular bridge in Louisville. It actually started before, but by 28 it was coming together. And the, the mayor of the city, a Republican mayor named William Harrison, put together a plan and uh, it was a toll bridge. And it was 35 cents to drive over. It was a nickel to walk or a nickel to take your bicycle over the bridge. But you couldn't ride your bicycle. You had to, you had to walk it. Uh, this bridge started and, and was put up very quickly. It took about a year to build. Uh, and, it, and what's interesting about it is when the time came for its dedication service, it was the last week in October of 1929. This bridge was, was dedicated two days before the stock market crash. Um, yeah, well, it was originally called the Municipal Bridge, uh, and then in 1964 it was renamed. Everybody's always called it the Second Street Bridge, but it was then renamed officially. It's the George Rogers Park Memorial Bridge. This is not the first bridge at Second Street. The first bridge at Second Street did not go over the Ohio. It went over Beargrass Creek. One of the problems of having this creek, and it would be just about under the interstate where we're talking about. So this is the area of the point that's getting wider and wider. You couldn't get here. You had to cross Beargrass Creek. And so they built the first bridge uh, in Louisville was across Beargrass Creek. Uh, it cost $406 and, and then it collapsed. Uh, the second bridge was stone and it was here for a number of years. Eventually there were five bridges, one on 2nd Street, one on 3rd Street, Brook, Jackson Street. There were five bridges across Beargrass Creek and that's what allowed passage back and forth because this was always the war ferry. This whole area from about where the uh, lift bridge is all the way down, almost all the way to Towhead Island, at some time there were boats tied up. And in the early days, in the great glory days of steamboats, in the 1850s, there would be 2,400 arrivals and departures at the Louisville Wharf. It was the busiest inland port system in America. It was also one of the first customs houses. In 1799, that was a long time ago, 1799, Louisville was declared a federal port of entry because we were the first American town you encountered if you came up the Mississippi River. New Orleans was French. You got to St. Louis, it was Spanish. You had to get to Louisville before you could pay your customs fees. And so uh, right about on this spot, just a, about a block down, was the first customs house, collecting revenue. That's how the federal government paid for itself in those days. There was no income tax. I saw it. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a couple other things I want to point out. You're going to see two rather unorthodox design buildings right here. Uh, and the first one we'll talk about when we get up to it. You'll notice they are considerably above ground level. They recognize the, one of the basic facts in Louisville history, we get floods. And we get floods routinely. Uh, roughly every seven years, the river leaves its bank. Roughly every 50 years, you have a, a flood of record. You have a flood that significantly goes into the downtown area. Now, the 1937 flood is the great flood. That's the flood of record for, for us and for most of the Ohio Valley. If you look at these tall pylons, this first one, it's marked, they're, 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 it's, it's measured. All the different floods in the past, except 1937, because that would be nine and a half feet above the top of that. So the entire city was, was essentially underwater. It was without question the greatest disaster we've ever faced. And, the greatest, and it meant so much to changing the face of Louisville. But flooding is a, is a, is a reality that we deal with and so in this place we put up tall buildings and when the restaurant went up they knew they had to be out of the hundred year floodplain. We're going to talk about the hundred year floodplain uh, quite a bit but we're going to do it for a long time. 